Hello there and welcome back to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is still the 16th of August and I have some interesting news for you today as Microsoft will be removing the option to purchase PC games over Xbox.com on the 22nd of August. And this of course coincides with the Xbox 360 update which will remove Microsoft points from the the whole Xbox Live system and of course replace it with real world currency and they had this to say via the Games for Windows Live Facebook page. We encourage you to spend your Microsoft points balance prior to this change. Although you will not be able to purchase new games, you can continue to enjoy previously purchased content by downloading them through the Games for Windows Live client software as usual. And while you might think, oh, that means they're going to get rid of Game for Windows Live, but unfortunately not, when pressed for comment, Microsoft told Eurogamer.net that, quote, it will continue to support the Games for Windows Live platform. And, quote, although purchase functionality will be discontinued through this marketplace, the Games for Windows Live service will continue to operate as usual. So basically, it's just purchases through the website that are being closed and not the service itself. So there you have it, Games Windows Live is still alive and kicking, but the ability to purchase PC games on Xbox.com will no longer be available in literally just a few days time. By this time next week, it will no longer be available. Um, so if you do have any Microsoft points kicking around, I suggest you spend them before this time next week. Otherwise, you're going to be pretty much stuck with it. Now, I'm sure many of you are hoping that this might spell the end for Games Windows Live and that they'd be announcing that they're pretty much just going to get rid of it. But unfortunately, that's not the case from the sound of it. It's not going to be going anywhere. However, though, what's interesting, though, is that less and less games are actually using it. For example, Ultra Street Fighter 4 will not be using Game for Windows Live. I actually did a video on this just the other day. If you want to go check it out, then please do so. Basically, as I said, it's not going to be using Game for Windows Live and will be, of course, on Steam. Um, and, of course, just use the Steam Marketplace and nothing else. And, of course, more and more games are doing that these days because, well... Game for Windows Live is definitely a black mark against a lot of games for a lot of PC gamers and for good reason. So hopefully we'll no longer be seeing that functionality forced on us on the PC games, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. Uh, it seems like the platform itself isn't going anywhere, but perhaps it's taking a small step in that direction. It's really, really tough to say, but I wouldn't hold my breath for the demise of Game for Windows Live just yet. But fingers crossed that, that just more and more games will transition away from it and we can just get back to using a decent PC digital distribution platform. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.